can see plenty of wedding guests here. The brew house is the heart of a brewery. Here is the place where water, malt and hops are united. From the Stiegel Brewery, it's available throughout of Austria and also of course Germany. Hello everyone, I'm standing in front of one of the oldest breweries in the world and uh, apparently this beer was the favorite beer of Mozart. So I'm in Salzburg and I came to the Stiegel, Stiegel Brewery. Uh, so they are doing the brewery tour here. So everyone welcome to this new video. The workers from the brewery got a nice view from here and uh, that's a uh, that's a uh, view and uh, that's the brewery. Let's get inside and uh, look around there. They also got a little veg vegetable and fruit garden in front of this factory, this brewery. And uh, yeah, you can see nice tomatoes growing there. In this uh, uh, veg garden, you can see some paprika there, uh, some bell pepper, and uh, some veggies, and also apples. And uh, I think they are, I think they are olives. In front of the brewery, not exactly in front of the brewery, next to the brewery, there is a little uh, restaurant and uh, a beer garden, and also. And also down there is the shop selling the souvenir stuff. Quite big beer garden and also it's a weekend so quite a lot of people today. These are the prices and uh, if you if you take the guided tour it's 18.90 and uh, you'll get discount if you got the Salzburg card. So this is the, the souvenir shop, the gift shop here. You could buy everything, walking sticks, hoodies, Sandals, beer. They do both uh, English and uh, German too, so I picked the English one. So we are starting our brewery tour, and the first thing we are doing is uh, tasting beer. From the Stiegel Brewery, it's available throughout of Austria and also of course Germany and all of the neighboring countries. The style of the Goldbräu is a classical Austrian Marches beer and really characteristic for the Austrian Marches beer is the really full malt body, body of the beer. So all of the malt characteristics, all of the malt aromatics, so all of the, a little bit of sweetness and all of this. So they don't know when they started this uh, brewery, apparently they think they found a document in somewhere in 1400, so basically just before Columbus discovered America. Who is wife, Margaret Feindler. And this document is dated with the 16th of June, 1492. Quiz question, what else happened in 1492? Or maybe somebody else? It was Columbus, yes. Yeah. Yes, that's correct. In the same year, in 1492, Columbus also sailed the ocean and, under quotes, um, discovered America. Also, the beer which I showed you earlier, that's the main production. Produce 75% as of that beer. We're going to see some movie about uh, beer production. The several meter high hop plantations are a characteristic feature of the upper Austrian landscape. Only the unfertilized female blossom clusters, umbels, are suitable for beer brewing. Satisfied with the growth of the years. It will nevertheless be a few more weeks before he can bring in a rich harvest. The brew house is the heart of a brewery. Here is the place where water, malt and hops are united. During so called a centuries old craft that has been handed down from one master brewer to the next like a museum here just telling you what things what we need for beer production you know like barley water and there is a hop plant down there and apparently there is a uh, next to the hop plants the people that can't uh, grow hops in their garden which is prohibited in law another beer tasting session and they also store some uh, special beer here you know in wooden cask uh, 
in uh, whiskey and uh, rum cask, uh, some speciality thing. We've got a small production facility here for the uh, for the speciality beer, and they got a bigger one outside. These uh, rail trucks, uh, they bring uh, malt from Vienna every day. So this is the beer fermentation place, and this is the smallest one, and they got 21 of them like this in this facility. So in Austria, they say the beer bottle can be used for 60 times. So if they put somebody put a beer a cigarette butt, they need to throw it away. So just don't throw, don't put any cigarette butt in the bottle. Production house, office block, and uh, you got all the mountain view here. Beautiful. So that's the third tasting session. And they also uh, got uh, all the beer, the varieties, what uh, they produce in here uh, on display in the shop. Not display, they, you can buy it here. And uh, this is the, their best selling beer, which is uh, what we tried the first time. And uh, they are the, the speciality ones, you know, which were in the barrel. So weddings in this uh, brewery can see plenty of wedding guests here so that's the end of uh, our tour so it was very interesting and uh, two things I remember well I don't remember much because I had few drinks on the way so the one thing is the fil the unfiltered beers are uh, more healthier than the filtered beers and uh, I noticed that in uh, in supermarkets uh, you can buy the unfiltered uh, beer I think from Heineken and uh, so I want to buy some of the unfiltered beer and try it and the second thing is uh, the Heineken <laughs> well Heineken again uh, trying to buy all the small breweries and uh, trying to make force the small breweries to uh, to make the mass market products and uh, in this uh, in this brewery this uh, owner is still a privately owned brewery and the owner don't want to sell it to Heineken and uh, he want to keep the culture, work culture the same. So they do brewing Monday to Thursday, Friday cleaning and uh, Saturday, Sunday. Just uh, just uh, rest for the stuff. So if they will sell it to Heineken and uh, then it will be, then it will be uh, five days of working for the staff. <laughs> Busy drinking there, right? Then, so I think that's it. So I got say, a little souvenir from the from them, you know, as a, as a memory. The, so so that's it then. So I will go back there and uh, have a few more beers, and uh, I will see you all next time.